this video is I'm still trying to solve this issue on the EXA with the NASA I've already figured out the problem is not with the NASA the problem is with ESC calibration or probably not calibration but the software installed as you remember on the previous video I only had motors 1 and 2 working after a lot of swapping a lot of changing I've changed the ESC on motor 1 I changed that one to motor number 2 and I changed the ESC on motor number 2 to motor number 1 and uh, as soon as I did that motor number 2 started working motor number 1 stopped working so I realized the problem was with the ESC's and all of these had been flashed with the KK Multicopter Flash Tool to Simon K TGI dot HEX but I always had the same problem these two ESC's this one standing now on motor number two and the one on number six would work and the other four would not work but now I've done something and I think I solved the problem for number one as well because now when I go to motor test number one also works number two works and number six works so what have I done to get motor number one working along with the others and I can unplug it I can plug it back in it will still work if I turn on my radio turn it off from the computer arm the thing as you can see I got one two let me give a bit of throttle one two and six working now I'm gonna tell you what I did what I did was not very simple but after a while I got that I've used a NACE 32 board flash 2 clean flight and let me get that board to show you I've used this NACE 32 board flash to clean flight I unplugged all the ESC wires from the NASA and plug them on the NACE motors 1 to number 1, 2 to 2 and so on 1 to 6 correctly and I've opened BLLE and connected to the ESC's through BLLE and I tried to calibrate the ESC's flash it was giving some errors it, the, those were with Simon K ok ok it's not working so on so on then I decided to flash this ESC with TGI dot HEX from Simon K but instead of flashing with the KK multicopter uh, flash tool I flashed it through BLLE and as you've seen now I'll try once again and as you can see now that one flashed through uh, BLLE now motor 1 works and motor 2 works and uh, motor 6 works as well 3, 4 and 5 are not working so right now I'm gonna do a simple test I'm gonna do it on camera and I'll try uh, to show you on camera what's gonna happen let me see if I can get number three number three working I'll do the same I'll unplug everything from the NASA I wanna be quick I don't wanna like take too long but okay so I'll plug everything back to the NASA to uh, sorry to the NACE 32 board so motor one goes to number one motor 2 goes to number 2 3 is gonna go to number 3 4 is gonna go to number 4 5 is gonna go to number 5 
and uh, 6 is gonna go to number 6. I'll pick up the USB cable. Okay, USB cable. I'll plug it to the nice board. Plug the USB cable to the nice board. Okay, I'll power on my ESCs. I'll feed power to the main board, so I'll, power, I'll be powering the whole six ESCs. They're all powered. I'll open BLLE and I'll plug it to BLLE. Okay, so now I've plugged. Um, I was having an issue, it was not working, not connecting, I don't know why. I've just turned everything down, shut down, and plug it back together. And now, as you can see, it detected the six ESCs through the NACE32 board. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flash TGI.hex to number three to see if this one then works. So I'm gonna go to one, two, number three, select it with right click, flash other. Holy shit man. Flash other to this ESC and it only wants to select them all. Read it. As I say, every time I connect it, something different happens. So, this is, this is fucked. ESC number three, flash other. Okay, finally. ESC number three, select that bitch, flash other, okay, thank god. I'll select TGI.HEX, open, do you want to flash target ESC three? Yes. Just go, just flash it and go. Uh, and then I'll plug everything back to the NASA to see if Moto 3 now will work in the NASA. But, uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, close BLLE. Unplug everything, unplug from the computer, disconnect the NACE32 board, disconnect all cables here, and one last thing here, so ESC uh, number 3 was flashed to TGI.HEX through BLLE. I'll calibrate the throttle range. Number 3. I'm gonna plug it to channel number 3 on my receiver. Plug it to channel number 3. Turn the radio on. Throttle to the maximum. Pull it down. Okay, it has been calibrated. Now, unplug everything. God, I've plugged and unplugged a million times. These cables are getting worn out just of plugging and unplugging and uh... What the hell? Okay. Um, that power? No. Let me turn this on. Everything to the receiver. Okay, now plug all the cables back to the NASA 
cables back to the NASA. Let me just turn off the radio because I got low battery and I get that annoying beep. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Everything plugged. Open DJI NASA assistant. Plug power to the NASA. That would be necessary what mm -hmm. oh god plug power to the NASA plug everything power on let me just cover that LED because it blinks too bright I'm gonna plug the cable In, cover the LED again, plug it to the computer here, and I plug it to the computer, it connected, cancel, basic motor test, I agree, so motor 1, spin, motor 2, spinning, motor 6 was spinning, continues, Motor number 5 was not spinning and it still does not spin. I'm tapping M5, it's not working. Number 4, still not spinning. I'm tapping M4, not working. Now the moment of truth. Number 3. Number 3 is working. Fixed. Thank God. <laughs> I figured out what it was. I must flash it through BLLE and use that TGI.hex which I have on my computer. Probably it was a problem with the version of uh, the TGI I was flashing. Cause, see, now I got one, two, I got three, and I got six working. I don't have 4 and 5, but if I turn on my radio, unplug it from the computer, and arm it, okay, now I got these 4 working, so, 1, 2, 3, and 6, I only have to flash those 2, to that version of TGI. And that's how you solve it. <laughs> I don't think there was a video about this on YouTube. At least I searched and did not find it. If you ever go through this, just use an ace board. Use whatever you want. Flash those to TGI through BLLE. I'll do the same for these two. And then I'll come back to check if the all six motors spin. Okay? Well, um, now that I've, um, I've flashed all, all are working, one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six, they're all working, so I guess the problem w was whether with the um, with the X file uh, I was using for T, uh, the TGI X file I was using from Simon K, or whether the KK Multicopter Flash tool. The truth is that flashed through BLLE using the TGI on BLLE that TGI file, which honestly I don't know where I got it. <laughs> I just know it's on the computer. I don't know which version it is, but it works. Now I just decreased the the motor idle speed 
because I think they w they were spinning too fast at the idle. Okay, and now as you can see, well I've um, I've set the idle speed to low because recommended recommended. I think it's too fast. They spin too fast when I turn them on. So let me plug this back on. Change that to low because yeah, low. Now uh, I'll do here a basic stick calibration. Finish. Everything's fine. Modes working, GPS fail safe. Uh, if I go to this one, intelligent orientation control working, and uh, let me do a motor test again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're all working. So unplug it from the computer. It's set to low, isn't it? Uh, basic. Where, where is I? Yep. I think I. And they're all working. Six working. Figure it out. Flash it through BLLE. See ya.